Okay, this is going to be my first uh, video ever of a booster box break. I'm uh, doing the Dungeon Dragons Batter for Baldur's Gate uh, set boosters. It's uh, I think it's one of the cheapest. It has some of the better some uh, better cards you can get out of it for the value you pay for it. Uh, another one I like like Infinity because of the lands. Uh, Good price of the lands versus the price of the box. Okay, but I'm gonna do this one here today. This one does not come with a box topper. Some do, some don't. Uh, this one, uh, this one does not have them. There are 18 boosters and a set booster box. As you can see. And we'll see what we can get out of them here. Okay. This pack. Alright. Oh. A nice little thing and a foil forest. I always like foil uh, forests. Uh, kind of cool. Oh, this is kind of neat here. Uh, charcoal diamond, charcoal, uh, two charcoal diamonds. And uh, funny thing is, I met the artist uh, just the other day, and I uh, got some of his stuff signed at an event we had uh, near where I live. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Surge. Let's go back to the uncommons. Emerald Dragon. Peace. See if I get any good. I got Bane, Lord of Darkness. Okay. Uncommon for that. And there. Dead Friends of the Forest. Another one. And a regular foil and an etch foil. Both uncommon. Okay. And a second pack. Let's see if we got any big, big hitters. Or if you're looking for the copper dragon, the top hit, nah, top big hitter in this. Okay. First Barbara, I always liked that card. It's been it's been like ten years since I've played, and I enjoyed uh, using that card to get land <laughs> back then. Horn of a Hala. Rare. And, okay. Looks like we got an uncommon foil etch and a common regular foil. Not even sure if I'm getting this in the picture. I'm trying, but like I said, it's my first time attempt at doing this, so I might screw it up pretty good, so we'll see. Let's see if I get any of the list items here. Uh, Alright. Green Island. It's another Phil Stone one. I believe I got this one signed by him. Uh, the actual artist proof version of it. Okay, recruitment, mine stone. Okay. Miriam Sentel Worm. Sentinel Worm. Rare. Uh, oh, there we go. We got a foil etched rare. Shameless. 
Seamless Charlatan. I got Gale's Redirection. Another rare. Astron's Thirst. Another rare. And Wild Blade of Frontiers. Another rare. That's foil. Uh, that's quite a rare count. That's quite, quite good. That's five rares in one pack. <laughs> it's not too bad. Nothing overly exciting, but still it's cool to get that many rares in one pack. Okay, moving on. Oh, I got a list card this time. Let's see what it is. Swap. Tinker. Foil Ash not common. Lulu. We got Elthid Harvester. Wild Blade of Frontiers again. And that is the Cardo of Baldur's Gate. That's the list card. Hmm. Okay. And pack number five, I believe. What is the list? I think if you open enough, you know what the list is. <laughs> and very thief, common. Very sorry about the glare here. I don't have very good lighting, so I gotta use another light. Go on gate. Alright. Oh, there's a planeswalker. Tasha the Witch Queen. Rare. Oh, there's another. Foil extra here, Merkel Lord of Bones, and another Mythic Storm King Thunder, and there's a common, a token. Autographed one, not that these are usually worth much of anything. Another Moss Diamond. Raised by Giants, Rare Curve. Well, it's common. It's going to also. Another rare, Raphael Fiendus Saber. And a common showcase foil card. Equipment, Cloak of Bat. On to the next pile, number seven. There's another list card. My finger is always slipping away from these. Okay. First rare, 
Arco letter bones. Okay. They're common. Foil etch is a common. Uh, I got a rail in here. Reflecting pole. Okay, and a common foil. Oh, a rare. A card from, uh, I can't remember the brand, what uh, set that was. Was it Ravnica? I remember remember them playing with this set years ago. The fairy shield, all damage that we dealt, dealt to you is dealt to equip creature instead. It's pretty cool. shiny cards because I can't get it together. Together. Cloud kill. Sorcerer. Okay, we got a uncommon. The foil etched. Rare is Jan Jason, Chaos Crafter. And a common for the regular foil. Stone. Come on. Alright, there's the first rare. Narrow Wild Mage. So we're gonna cross any dragons yet. Okay. I got another common. Uh, uncommon foil, hardy outlander. And a mythic, majestic genesis, and a common regular foil. I will be uh, getting uh, a Lord of the Rings, a new Lord of the Rings collector's uh, booster box, and it should have it in tomorrow. I believe tomorrow it's supposed to be in. So maybe I'll do this for that as well. I know you'll probably be more interested in that than this. This is just a cheap box, but I figured, what the hell. I've opened a few bo different boxes already. Like I said, I've done quite a few of the uh, Infinity because I really like the, the basic lands in there plus the the rare land you can get, I mean, you're guaranteed one rare land, just in, uh, um, just, just in a box topper. Alright, we got a rare foil etched here. Dinar, Invoker, and Depth. Foil etched. And a regular foil. Nine Fingers Kine. Or Kini, or however you pronounce that. And we got... Uh, foil uncommon and for the list card we've got forging forging the tyrite sword I don't know that thing it was must have been after my time so I don't really know much about the cards it was like past 10 if it's uh, newer than the 10 years ago and it's the last Sets I think I played with were uh, Time Spiral. I'm not sure if it was Time Spiral was before Ravnica or Ravnica was before Time Spiral, but those 
those sets were the last ones I did any uh, real playing with. And I kind of got out of it for a while, so just getting back in to all this. Oh, another foil land, foil island. Out of rare, we got Aldo the Seer, and another common, a common foil etched, and we got a rare Ultra Survivors, and a common on non basic land. saying I was uh, I should have uh, my uh, collector's box in tomorrow I mean, everybody wants to pull that number one ring that's worth five million dollars now last I heard I don't know if anybody's gonna get it anytime soon now another auto another foil autograph one of these Foil etched. And we got Descent into a Veneris for the rare. And we got a regular foil rare. Fireblown Flutist. And some red rares here. Six packs to go. One through twelve. So far, no dragons. Another foil basic land. Planes. Oh, that's a, a lightning bolt. Always one of my favorite cards back in the 90s when it was first out. Started originally playing back. Or in the unlimited, limit, unlimited era. And uh, then after graduating high school, I stopped for a while. And I got back into it. And no, I do not still have the cards from back there. I was stupid when I was younger. And I sold them for almost nothing. So, there's that. Got one cheaper plant here for the, foil, for the rare. And we got another uh, foil land, basic land. Okay, next one. There's another list card in there. Okay, Plus. I'm going to start a little early. Maybe I'll get a, more rares in this one. Right, there's the first rare. Diner, Invoker, Edit. Some of these I'm getting doubles of. And we've got Gen Jason Chaos Crafter as a foil etch. Ooh, there's Acrobatics. Regular. Just uh, uncommon foil, and uh, so there's the list card, Spirit of the Labyrinth. Each player can't draw more than one card each turn. Now that's definitely stopping people from uh, their draw game. Go. 
if we got anything interesting in the last few packs. It, that's weird. Turned them upside down. And they are turned upside down again. Never had that happen. Okay, we got a uncommon foil etched. Come on. We got you said in the Averns. I know we've had that one pulled already. And we got a Mindstone foil uncommon. Nothing too exciting. Control the Lord of the Rings box is more exciting. I'm hoping for at least a, one of the ring cards. Even cooler if it came foil etched. Okay. I'm not holding my breath there. Got a couple uh, gates, common. The Council of Four. I know I pulled those before out of another box. A couple of them I already have. Foil etched is an uncommon. Displacer kitten. I've now gotten one of them before too. I guess a cute card, little kitten. <laughs> and we got the fire diamond in the foil. Keep knocking this thing around here that I'm using to hold up my phone for this. Another foil mountain, that's cool. Another foil stone card. Fireball. That was another one from back of my day in Unlimited. It had the old channel fireball that you could uh, use to kill somebody on the first turn using the moxes and the black lotus. Well, etched is a rare, not the rare that I'm hoping for, but a rare nonetheless. Gorian Wise Mentor. A rare showcase. Lunch the Bestower. And a rare foil. Caves of Chaos Adventurer. We got one pack left to go. We'll see how that turns out. So far, not too exciting. <laughs> At least, not that I think. I haven't looked up the price of all the cards. I mainly know the price of the dragon cards and you know the angels or something. But I said I'm just kind of getting back into this the past like month or so. I just got back into it, so. I'm unaware of how much. I mean, I was surprised by some of the cards prices. Like back when I was playing before, the Pithing Needle was like a $50 card, and now it's worth like $2. <laughs> I was actually kind of surprised when I pulled that out of a Masters deck, and it seeing it was worthless now for the most part. But it's cool. I remember from back in the day. You know, of course, the since he's divining, it, it did it again. Look at that. It's, it's upside down again. Packing these weird. And we're upside down again. <laughs> okay. Another Raphael, the Fiendish Saber. And plenty of doubles here. Noble Heritage, rare. We got a Foil Extra Uncommon, Safina. Come up for I don't know. Whatever that says. 
White Plume Adventurer, rare. Illith Harvester, another rare. And a common foil out of that. Okay. So that is that is every pack in this. A lot of duplicates out of this. Definitely not my uh, best box I've uh, had. But got a few foil etched rares. Maybe it's something. I don't know. <sighs> if anything's worth anything, I don't want it. I'll probably have it up on eBay. My eBay store is Ohio Treasure Hunters. Uh, I sell pretty much anything and everything since I've gotten back into magic. I started putting a few magic cards up there. Uh, and the more I get, the more I'll put up. I'll check and see if any of these are worth putting up. If they are, I tend to make it a $15 plus. If the card is worth at least $15, it just goes into my stash for the time being. Um, if it's worth more than $15, I will list it on eBay if I don't want the card to myself. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a sucker for the lands, which is why I love the Infinity, like I've said a few times. So I'm just not going to keep beating that over and over again, but that's, I mean, I like a lot of different types of lands, so I don't know, maybe there'll be some uh, nice lands in some of these other ones. It's kind of what I'm collecting now more than anything else. But, like I said, if anything in here is actually worth worthy of listing, I will have it listed. The store, uh, Ohio Treasure Hunters, I will uh, put the link down below underneath the YouTube video if I know how to do that. I, I, it's the first time doing this. I'm going to have a new channel set up just for me doing this because I figured as I'm opening the boxes anyway, and so many people like watching box openings, um, I figured I'd give you something, something to watch for... Uh, what's this? Almost a half an hour? Just, I mean, it probably all depends on the number of packs. It's a 36 pack box, probably be more than a half an hour. Uh, 12 pack box, probably be about 20 minutes or so. All depends on how excited I get. <laughs> it takes a while for me to get excited, so we'll see. If I pull something big, I'll probably get excited though. But okay, go ahead and uh, like this video if you did. Uh, Thumb down if you didn't, whatever. I mean, this is my first attempt, so I'm expecting some of that and some possibly some rude comments if anybody finds me at all. So, okay. Well, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.